So we'll talk a little bit about modes. So uh, the way I, I teach and the way I, I, I learned my scales were, was basically these six positions off of the, the low E string and off of the A string. So essentially I learned the major scale starting here and then two octaves. Pretty common way to do it. And that's what we're going to kind of focus on today. <coughs> Once you have that, and the reason I start with that one is because it stays right in the position. You don't have to be stretching at all. You have one finger per fret. Um, some of the other forms are working off the first finger. I call this one six, first finger six string. And then four six. These require stretching outside of the box for at least one note. And then you would do the same thing on the, on the, a, on the a string. So you would maybe do an F. scales are made up of whole steps and half steps, and that's what makes each scale unique, the different sequence of whole steps and half steps. So a major scale, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So it's two whole steps, one half step, three whole steps, one half step. An easy way to illustrate this is on the open string. So, okay. So, if we think of um, a half step as one fret, if we're on the piano, we'd be talking white keys and black keys. But on the guitar, we're thinking half step. So, from E to F is a half step. E to F sharp is a whole step. Okay. So, without even knowing the notes on the string, as long as you know your your your, your the name of your open strings and the octave. Buzz there. Again. Um, you can play a scale by knowing the sequence of steps. So on, uh, on the E string, we go whole step, whole step, half step, scale formula. And, and I would suggest practicing up and down the neck too. Uh, a lot of times guitarists, we, 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 we neglect to play up, up the fretboard. We learn this way because we can play pretty fast once we learn a couple of scales, especially pentatonics. But really, some of my favorite guitarists, uh, they work it up and down the neck. Um, and, and for me, it gives you a, a little more um, legato technique, which is more like a horn player. And a lot of times, I, more than emulating guitar players, I, I more emulate trumpet players and sax players, and, and it's what they do because they're not playing staccato all the time. You know, guitar players, we, can, we get into that and we accent every note, but it's nice to be able to go, whether it's a hammer or a slide. So you can start this, you know, if you're not that fast, you can do it with just one finger just to get it down and work it up and down the fretboard to get that sound, that major scale sound in your ear. And you can do that on every string, follow the same pattern. Let's do it on the B string. So one, two, three, four. Open, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Right. Exactly. So, so that's the major scale formula. That, that's something that you should have in your head back and forward. Just know two whole steps, one half step, three whole steps, one half step. 